a little bit of Hollywood has come to Tampa Bay. Okay, a lot. The 5th Annual Sunscreen Film Festival is here, and this place is just swarming with celebrities. And what better way to welcome them than in true Tinseltown style? The Baywalk Movie Co. is rolling out the red carpet for a week full of star-studded events. Does it get any better than stars from a galaxy far, far away? Actually, it can. Luke, Hans, R2-D2, and the rest were at the festival on a very important mission. Escort a fellow Star Wars hero down the carpet. Billy D. Williams, the real Lando Calrissian from The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. The red carpet was off to a rolling start after this grand entrance. I got to snag some prime interviews with some very well-known faces. Why are you supporting independent film? Um, I think they're really important. I mean, they're films that they're not run by big studios, so the producers and the actors and the directors have a lot more say in the projects. And I always feel like usually the better films are the independent films. My name is Earl is awesome, and 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 it's got a lot of money behind it, and and it's great, and there are a lot of creative people involved. But I find that sometimes when you have not as much money and you have to get more creative, you can wind up with something really special. So that's why I love independent films. You know, independent movies really are the foundation for all of those blockbusters. Every single one of those directors had a dream and they started something. When we made Napoleon Dynamite, we made it because it was a movie we wanted to see. And we got really lucky because it turns out a lot of other people wanted to see it too. And uh, we're really proud of that accomplishment. So we're at the Sunscreen Film Festival teaching independent film producing classes so that people who are local to this area can also make movies that they want to see and get their voice out into world cinema. And hopefully they'll have some success as well. Are you familiar with Tampa Bay? I love Tampa Bay. Like, what's, your, what's your favorite part of Clearwater? The beach. Can't beat the beach. It's the best. The weather. The weather. There's nothing like the weather. They have great food out here. Not any upcoming movies? Yeah, I have uh, 18 big action movie comes out uh, June 11th. What was it like being a werewolf? It was great. It was great. After meeting all the celebrities, it was time for the real stars of the festival to shine. The Independent Films. I'm standing here with Jack. He's one of the independent filmmakers in the film festival. Jack, you want to tell us a little bit about your movie? Yeah, uh, my film is The Source. It's a crime drama about a vice cop who has an accident while he's uh, on a kind of a stakeout kind of thing and he ends up getting a desk job and after the death of his partner he kind of goes into all the cases that his partner was doing to avenge his death. Hundreds of festival attendees and movie lovers alike filled the theaters all weekend long enjoying some of the best cinematic talent Tampa has to offer. Nothing says good job like a party thrown in honor of the films and their makers each evening of the festival. My night was made when I tracked down Billy D and got an exclusive sit-down interview. We talked about his independent film, Barry Monday, co-starring Patrick Wilson. How was it working on that movie? I had a lot of fun working uh, with uh, Chris Darienzo, who is the uh, filmmaker, the writer, and uh, director of the movie and working with Patrick uh, Wilson and uh, Malcolm McDowell and um, uh, Sybil Shepherd. Uh, I really, really thoroughly enjoyed myself. If things couldn't get any better, he even complimented me. Apart from movies, what's your favorite part of being in Tampa Bay? My favorite part of, about being in you, you're my favorite part of being in <laughs> a compliment from Billy D. Williams. <laughs> this is a good night. Thank you so much. It was really Panel discussions and workshops taught by these famous figures filled any remaining gap in the weekend. The one thing that set this film festival apart from the rest lies in the appearance of one man, John Travolta himself. There to present the best film award to these lucky few. After a long weekend of celebrity filled events, rubbing elbows with up and coming movie stars and makers, and sampling some of the best of Tampa's movie industry, the Sunscreen Film Festival has earned Tampa the right to say, Hollywood, move over.
Make sure to continue to check out MetroMix.com for the full interviews with these celebrities.